Hafadai, Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands. A parable is told of Satan who complains to the Lord, You are unfair. So many sinners do wrong and you take them back. In fact, some come back half a dozen times and you always welcome them. I make one big mistake and you condemn me forever. It is unfair. The Lord replies, Did you ever ask for forgiveness? Or did you ever repent? In today's gospel, we heard St. John the Baptist said, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. He is calling for repentance. The Greek word metanoia is a biblical term for repentance or complete change of heart, which turns one away from sin. It means not just to be sorry for your sins, but to turn your life around and come back to the Lord, your God, and to serve the living God. To turn your life around because sin will destroy you and gradually sin will take away all that you hold dear. In response to this call, people from Jerusalem, Judea, and the region around the Jordan flocked to him for baptism. Obviously, they see themselves as sinners and transgressors of God's law. John, as God's messenger, accepted the repentance. Therefore, we should not be afraid to admit our sins, our frailties, our weaknesses, that we fail ourselves and we fail our families and we fail our God. Don't give up when you fail. As the Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16 says, the good man fails seven times a day and rises again, but the wicked shall fall into evil. Brothers and sisters, salvation is God's doing and we cannot earn His blessings. We are saved by His grace. Therefore, we must cooperate with God's grace because God cannot force His bounty upon us. That is why John the Baptist summons us to play our essential part by living lives of repentance, conversion, and renewal, thus preparing the way for the Lord's second coming. Whatever is standing in the way of your loving and caring, get rid of it. Toss it aside, for every Christmas is a new beginning, a new life, a new hope, a new joy, not just for ourselves, but for the people we love. Let us humbly admit the truth with the German mystic, Angelus Silesius, who said, and I quote, Christ could be born a thousand times in Bethlehem but all in vain until he is born in me." Unquote. He means that Jesus must be reborn in our heart during the season of Advent and every day of our lives, radiating his love, kindness, mercy, forgiveness, and spirit of humble service to the world through our lives. May God bless us all.